I'm gonna convince you to make something by the end of this video. Why? Because you're an artist. You make things. Everyone's an artist. Everyone makes things. And so I'm here to help you with that because every artist has had a little bit of a rut. They've fallen down a hole and maybe they haven't gotten a chance to make something that they really wanted to, but excuses in their head have gotten in the way. Now picture this. I'm gonna have you picture something for me real quick. Let's just say, hypothetically, <laughs> you're sitting there watching this video right now. You've had an idea for a video or something, anything in your case, for a while now. This is hypothetically you, and you just haven't gotten around to it. Why? Maybe the excuses are actually the thing really holding you back. So why exactly haven't you created something yet? Well, let's think about the why. Why create? Well, typically when you create something, you either create it for yourself or to show others as a form of expression of yourself. Let's just say your art is a painting, a painting that you have been conceiving for a while and planning to put on the wall of your old local art museum. I'm gonna tell you right now, 90% of the time, you make excuses out of expectation. What are people going to think? The only reason why you haven't made your work of art yet, your magnum opus, is because you're worried about what other people would think. That's it. What people are gonna say about it, if they're gonna like, if they're gonna judge it on the side, what are they gonna think? What are they gonna do about it? And that's where you stop. Before you even start, you stop yourself in your head because you're worried about the thoughts of other people. I'll tell you right now and I'll blow your mind. Nobody cares! Absolutely nobody cares about your art. And that might be a hard pill to swallow, but it's true. Everyone that is going to see your work of art, even if it's just your mom or your, your dog, they're going to be worried about how other people think about them. I'm going to assume that you're in a spot where you just want to improve your art. All you wanna do is to get to a point where you can make art that you are extremely happy with, and that's it. So you can use this time right now to make mistakes. So in the future, when you've learned from all your mistakes and you make good art to you, people are going to notice. The only way to get good at something, nay, master something, is to keep doing it, right? So just keep doing it until you think it's good. Don't wait around until you're good at that thing because that's just not how it works. But if that was how it works, well, everyone would be successful, right? So please, for my sake, <laughs> for this video's sake, keep creating things, keep making things all the time. Only worry about your success and more importantly, your failures because, well, if you fail, learn from that and then come back and make something better next time. Was that really a failure?